All right, guys. So in today's video, uh, you. Ooh, that's a nice car. Anyways, in today's video, uh, you guys remember we changed out the tail lights on the Type R because we changed out the tail lights to a smoked one. It doesn't quite match these uh, reflectors right here. Uh, now, there's two ways that you can change these. Uh, one, there's actually a light which you can connect to your turn signal and your brake light uh, so that it'll give you a functional um, light down here. The second one, we're gonna be tinting this. Uh, so today, we're gonna be tinting this. Uh, I got this on Amazon, it's about $10. You don't need a big roll, obviously, because you're only tinting this little piece right here. So this is way too much, but yeah, this is basically, I just searched a headlight tint and then this is what popped up. Hopefully the colors would match uh, because I mean, they look about the same. Normally when you tint your windows, uh, there's like a special spray that you need to spray. Uh, in this case, we don't need any of that stuff. Uh, this in particular is from Vivid. I bought some products uh, from this company before, like my roof and hood wrap that I have on the Sport. Um, and it's a really good product. And then if we look right here, it literally just tells you to clean off the surface, measure it, peel and stick, and apply and heat. Then you're gonna trim it and detail. First thing that you're gonna wanna do, clean this area off. Make sure it's nice and clean. So I cut off about the length of the reflector. Um, I went ahead and measured over uh, just so that I can have the extra excess. So now that we measured it, we cleaned the reflector side. We're gonna go ahead and peel this on like a screen protector pretty much. Make sure you use a squeegee and just push out all the bubbles like what I'm doing right here. So in between, uh, at the edges right here, there's actually already a gap, especially on this side. You can just take your fingernail. Uh, in this case, I just use my thumb and just like push it in like this. You can use your thumb as a knife so you can get that perfect cut. Just go all the way around just like this. Okay, and you guys saw I didn't even use a knife. So I'm just gonna pull it out like that. See that? It comes off like so. Boom, just like that. I didn't even use a knife on this side. So you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Just, you know, try to cut it with your thumb. Just dig your finger in there. Just go all around and cut it. There you go. Perfect. Make sure you go up here. Use your thumb as well. Literally didn't even need a cutting tool just use my fingers. Now the tricky part is up here. Um, still just push in with your thumb or finger and eventually the wrap would come off like that. By using a knife there's a chance that you'll be scratching this but with your thumb if you have fingernails like how I do I literally just punch the hole and on the side, work my way down onto the bottom like that. And then I switched fingers on this side. And then I worked my way up with my index finger. So I'm gonna grab my squeegee and I'm just gonna make sure that this is completely on the reflector. And it looks like that, it's done. And just like that, we tinted both of the reflectors 
on the Type R and it looks so much better than before because that was like a bright red especially if I was driving in the sun but now that we have the tinted headlights it matches with the smoked tail lights now and this is what it looks like with the smoked reflectors so you can't even see them on the bottom anymore and uh, let's do a little close-up right here look at that it is now smoked it matches with the rear tail lights uh, right now like it's sunset hours so the Sun is setting um, so I'm gonna come back in the morning I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like but I'm gonna turn the tail lights on look at this man I love that animation startup also you guys suggested me to switch off the switch on the uh, the hatch light because right now currently it's just blinking it was raining all day yesterday even last night um, so no condensation on these tail lights whatsoever we're gonna go ahead and switch the hatch light to the off position see if there's any difference Turns out you guys are right. So this is with the switch turned off. That's the switch turned on. There's a big difference, look at that. Compared to this right here. All right, now I gotta find the switch. Should be here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It looks a hundred times better now, guys. So thank you for those of you who commented. Uh, so when you're installing these tail lights, make sure you leave it on the circle position. I'm standing directly behind the car, and you can clearly see the tail lights plus the bottom reflectors. I'm gonna get out the way but yeah this is what it looks like in direct sunlight looks pretty cool this is typically where um, if you're at a stoplight this is typically where the um, the car behind you would be so this is what it's gonna look like at a stoplight if a car is following you it's usually around right here, minus my shadow. So that's what it looks like. Um, now my car is a little bit dirty, um, as you can see right there. So it's, you know, it's not 100% clean. But yeah, at least you get to see what the reflectors look like uh, with tinted taillights and I do highly suggest uh, if you guys are going out and getting a aftermarket taillight that is smoked, do your reflectors as well so that it'll match. Now in the future, I will be changing these to sequentials, uh, to actual working lights. Um, but this video is basically the cheap way or the cheap and lazy way to change out your reflectors. Um, and honestly, it only took like 10 minutes. I barely did anything. All I did was put the tint on the reflectors and then I cut it off with my thumb. But yeah, um, 10 minute job. It's really easy and it's cost efficient. You don't have to take anything apart. Anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video. And if you want to see more 10th gen Honda Civic videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I do make 10th gen Honda Civic content uh, every week. Also, if you're interested in this product or any of the last fit products that I showed you earlier, uh, I'll be linking it down below in the description. Use my code CTFK7 for 10% off. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.